Alright, so welcome. This video is going to be on the Vieta's formula, which is a pretty important and pretty useful mathematical formula, and we'll talk about it more later. It's named after this popular and famous French mathematician called Franciscus Vieta. At least that's his Latinized name. I can't really pronounce his actual French name. So let's get right into it. The reason why we're doing this video is because it was actually suggested by someone that watched this video and this is our first star suggestion, so yay, I guess. Alright, so the Vieta's formula is pretty useful as I stated before and it helps relate the coefficients of a polynomial to its roots. Furthermore, it like, has a lot of applications in competition math and it can also help solve annoying algebra problems in school pretty fast. But don't do it if you have to show work because sometimes the teacher might not want you to do it in a way that they didn't teach so yeah but it just helps uh solve problems quickly so now let's go into showing how the vietas works so i'm not going to prove how this works because it's pretty advanced how uh, to prove the vietas formula but i'm just going to show an example of how this works so let's take the general form of a quadratic function it's ax squared ax squared uh plus bx plus c right and then let's say that we have a quadratic function with the roots p and q and we're supposed to build a quadratic function from that so we would do x minus p because it's the root times x minus q and then if we simplify this we would get x squared minus px minus qx uh, plus pq and then if we factor the p uh, if we factor the x out here we would get x squared minus p plus q x plus p so this can help us form some generalizations. So we can see how p plus q, the negative that is equal to b. So we can sh show how b is also equal to the negative of the sum of the roots of a quadratic function. Furthermore, we know that c is the same as the product of the roots. And this, this is the same for every single quadratic function. And now if we want to extend it to all the polynomials, we have a proved a method and a proof formula of what works and I'll show that right now all right so this is the general formula uh, formula for Vietas so given any polynomial with the degree n and then a of n describes the um, describes the first coefficient of the term with the largest degree and then you keep going down we can generalize saying that the um, sum of all the roots is equal to the a of n minus one, minus one term over to the a of n term and the negative of that. And then the next uh, the next coefficient, a of n minus one term, is the same as basically making pairs uh, making pairs of two of the roots and adding them up all together, as we can see here, and it's positive. And then the next one will be negative, but you will start making pairs of three roots multiplying them together and then adding them and then you keep going on until you only have one pair left of the multiplication of all the roots and then depending on n it's going to be negative one to the power of n times a of zero over a of n and here it's, it's important to know that you always divide by a of n so there's no way you can actually master a concept without actually doing some practice problems so we're gonna normally per video do three practice problems and they're all uh, step by step by level. So the first one's probably gonna be easy and then we go on to like an intermediate level. So let's get right to this. So it says find the equation of a polynomial with roots three and negative one. So first note that there can be infinite amount of um, equations for a polynomial with these roots, but normally you wanna try to find the most basic one. So using Vietas, this common math problem can actually be much more simple and take very few steps and you can do it mentally so we know that the sum of the roots is 3 plus negative 1 which is equal to 2 and then we know the product is just 3 times negative 1 which is equal to negative 3 so applying Vietas we know that 
the final moon x squared minus 2x because we take minus because the p to the power of 1 terms so negative 1 times 1 negative 1 to the power of 1 so that's negative so we have negative and then you have minus 3 and that's your answer of course you can have many amounts you can multiply this by 2 and since it doesn't say that it has to be a quadratic you can always add roots but it's a pretty it's one of the most simplest ways to do it all right so the next problem we have says that let a and b be the roots of the equation x squared minus mx plus 2 equals 0 suppose that a plus 1 over b and b plus 1 over a are the roots of the equation x squared minus px plus q is equal to 0 what is q so clearly since this has to do with the roots of the equation um and we're not given much else this probably uses vietas in some way and we're given that we have to find q so we know that q is actually equal to the product of the roots of this equation so a plus 1 over b times b plus 1 over a and then if we simplify this we get a b plus 1 because a times a uh, a times the reciprocal of a is just 1 and then plus 1 again same for b plus 1 over a b so we're just supposed to find 2 plus a b plus 1 over a b and now we can actually know through the first equation that a b which are a a b and a and b being the roots of the first equation is actually equal to 2 so this, this becomes 2 plus 2 plus 1 over 2 and that gives us 4 plus 1 half and then that's 9 over 2 and that's your answer so it's pretty so here we can clearly see that Vieta makes it so much easier to solve problems because we know these relationships between the roots and the coefficients of um, quadratic equations. So let's do our last one. All right. So this is the last problem and it's going to be the most challenging out of all of them. And it says that three of the roots of x to the power of four plus ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero are two, negative three, and five. Find the values of a plus b plus c. A plus B plus C is basically the sum of the coefficients minus the x to the power of fourth one. And because we know some of the roots and we know the coefficients, it's screaming via this formula. And now I think the biggest hint to start this problem is that the x to the power of three term, its coefficient is actually equal to zero. So um, we can use this because we know that in the x to the power of three, uh, the coefficient of the x to the power of three term is actually equal to the sum of all the roots. So 2 plus minus 3 plus 5 plus x, the missing root, is equal to 0. And now if we simplify this to get x is equal to negative 4. And now we know all the roots. So it might be attempting to bash this whole thing out for a, b, and c, and using properties such as the product of all the roots, the negative of it, is equal to c, and then likewise, but there's a much more better, there's a much better solution and much faster solution. So let's consider um, the factored form of this polynomial. Because we know all the roots, we can easily find the factored form, which is x plus four times x minus two times x plus three and then times x minus five. So now, we're told to find A, B, and C. You might also be tempted to actually um, simplify this whole thing to find A, B, and C. But there's an even simpler way. We know that when we plug in 1 to an X, to the X, right? When we plug in 1, we get the coefficient as our, um, as our Y, when we plug in 1 to any function. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to plug in 1 to this factored form. So we're going to get 1 plus 4. 1 minus 2, 1 plus 3, and then 1 minus 4. And then um, simplifying this, which is much easier than actually factor, uh, simplifying the whole factor format, we get um, 80. But we still don't have a solution yet, because 80 is actually equal to 1 plus ABC. And the reason being is if we look at our original um, equation, 
we have this x to the power of four term and that's not including a b and c so easily we just subtract one and we get 79 is equal to a plus b plus c and that's the solution so clearly um as prawns get harder there's much more unique ways to use vietas and it's not going to be like the only way to do it like uh, meaning it's not going to be the root of the prom so you guys have to find you know craftier ways and always try to simplify the prom so it's much easier like there's so many ways we could have made this prom much more bashy and harder for example actually solving for c solving for b solving for a or fact or simplifying this factor form out but we noticed uh tricks to actually make it easier along the way and finding the solution pretty fast i mean this we solved under three minutes i guess and then if you're in a test condition probably could solve under a minute or so so yeah all right so hope you guys like the problems that we chose if they're a bit easier or a bit harder just tell us and then we'll change up the hardness of the problems but before we end there's some conclusions so we can clearly see how we had this formula can make solving polynomial equations so much easier and then um just a tip for school math like if you're like doing finals or multiple choice tests where work doesn't matter you can like solve these uh questions that ask oh yeah given um like two three and four roots of a polynomial uh find the find an equation for it. you can easily solve it really fast um and that'll help save a lot of time and then we also saw that it was actually pretty easy to notice when to use vietas because it's pretty hard to hide the usage of a sum to um sum uh of a coefficient to um, root relation so it's pretty hard to hide that especially given that you have a polynomial you have you're given roots and you're given the coefficients of the polynomial now that's pretty much screaming vietas and it's pretty hard to hide that fact so yeah just keep these things um, in mind whenever you're solving problems and hopefully they help you solve test problems better so yeah that's going to be it just if you guys have any suggestions for future math videos and stuff stick around and suggest yes thanks